I want to go back to um to Maya, and I, I it seems like that coaching or mentoring is something that you're really that you're really into. And I, and I, and I look, I remember when Maya first came to the North Shore, and I remember seeing her out at sunset, and she was taking a lot of donuts. And I remember paddling up to her and saying, "Hey, Maya, like you need to take three three more strokes down the face before you stand up." You know, just and I saw her go through the process of like again, like probably everyone saying, hey, she can't do this, she can't do that, and she's so determined. And, and you took her under your wing and, and gave her all your knowledge, and I know you're doing that with Lucas, with Lucas now, but, you know, what a, you know, she just rebroke the world record. She's got the world record again now, but, but you've been through a lot with Maya, and uh, I want to go through those couple of bad wipeouts just purely because they're like some of the worst wipeouts ever, and I just, you know, just go through that, as a, as a, someone like a father figure to her and, and you're helping her do this and telling her into ways, but also you have this responsibility to try and keep her safe. Right. And, and I know there's that one, there was a one really, she had a one really bad wipeout at Chopu where she got stuck in the, yeah, the right and the left, right. And she was getting recycled. And then obviously the one at Nazare where she, she was unconscious there for a little bit at the end, but to take us through what it was like to be there when you're mentoring someone like that and, and being there on the scene when those wipeouts happen? Again, Jamie, you know, um, first of all, I have to say that nothing that we lived together could be able, would be able without Maya being so committed and, and being in love with surfing, you know? So I, I have to, to say that Maya... Um, because of her personality and like you said she's so focused and she's uh, and and determined uh, yes so she's determined and in everything that you know a great athlete needs to you know put time to be able to evolve because uh, we all know and she knows too that she doesn't have that much talent you know so she had to somehow overcome that lake on talent by being so persistent on training hard. And by the time that we started surfing together, I noticed that too, you know, and we started to work together. And then I was telling her, you need to do this, you need to do that, let's do this, let's do that. And she was so well on her mindset and on her routine, daily routine of training that she would come to me at, at the next day and say, Carlos, do you remember that you told me to run 10 K? I, I went 20 Ks. <laughs> oh, do you, you said for me to, you know, uh, train my app in there, you know, so I'm doing this with these guys, you know, I'm going to do this training with these guys. So she's very focused on everything that she does on her, her life, especially when it comes to big wave surfing. And we had a lot of crap from the, community you know we heard a lot of um, bad things from our community and that hurt that that hurt her a lot you know and hurt me too because we were trying to do something nice for the community we always had a, a similar thinking about how to become a professional surfer and how to improve our environment and how to make it looking better for everyone so we knew that she was a, a, a beautiful girl she would speak a perfect English and she would be a, a, a nice product to sell for the media. You know, everything that we need would be uh, our community embracing our project and selling us together. You know, at first when we stepped on the scene, it was really nice because everybody was, you know, Amazing to see a, a small girl so beautiful going after big waves. But then, then you know, she got all the attention so quickly, you know, it was very quick. You know, after that swell at, at, at Chopo, you know, the first swell at Chopo that, she, you know, she got pounded and then she go to the boat. And, you know, uh, I think Haimana took at her and led, you know, uh, rescued her and she she went to the boat and everybody was like oh my god you know that white pot she, she's not gonna surf anymore so i got a couple waves and then, then i go to the boat and and i i come to her and say maya put your vest she said why i said you're gonna surf we've been training together i know how to to make you 
you feel safe out there. And then she go out and then she got a nice battle with an amazing picture. And she was writing for Billabong at that time. And she was on the billboard all over, you know, California. And her name was so high. And then, you know what, I at first everybody was, okay, uh, we got this beautiful girl coming. And then, you know, we got someone that doesn't have much talent, but it's getting a lot of, uh, uh, you know, uh, place, I mean, space on the media, you know, being recognized a lot by the media. But we have, you know, guys from our community that were judging her because she doesn't have that much talent. Maybe she wasn't ready to be there, you know, because she was having, you know, bad white pounds that people that has a lot of talent, you know, wouldn't go through that situation. Anyway, it's a lot of judgment, which is normal. It's okay. But... We didn't give up, you know. So so was Chopo once, Chopo twice at that event that you, you know, said to me. Uh, you mentioned, you know, that she got a wave. That was one of the first wave of the set. And then, you know, a huge set come at the back. I, I think was, you know, that set that Bruce Iroh got one, one huge wave. And, you know, I can Ah, and, you know, ah, our friend. Uh, they got the magic wave that everybody, you know, we have the, what's his name? Nathan again? Fletcher. Fletcher, yeah. Nathan Fletcher. You know, he got that wave and, you know, at that set, Maya was in between the rocks and the current, you know, got pounded. And I was trying to rescue her and then put, Poto got her and, and she was okay, you know. To be honest with you, there was a lot of overreacting wasn't that bad at all, you know, we, we took her to the ambulance, you know, you know, the, the paramedics told, no, she's okay, she's, she, you know, wasn't that bad, but, you know, everybody overreacted, and people wanted to say something, you know, and I think Kelly tweeted something, oh, and, and exchanged some, you know, uh, uh, message with her, you know, that was private, you know, I'm not going to say because, you know, we were friends, me and Maya, you know, very close, and she was showing me, you know, Kelly sending this message to me and, you know, but anyways, I don't want to bring that because that doesn't belong to me. But people were, were trying to push her to maybe, you know, not surfing big waves anymore, but Maya would never give up. So we, we went to South Africa together. We got some really nice waves there. And you know what's really funny? Because at first, when we start surfing, I always have, have this kind of approach with people, you know, I don't want people to think that I'm pushing them in a way that they're going to be dependable. I want to push them to be, uh, I want them to be, uh, how, how can I say that? I want them to be independable. You know, I want you to survive by yourself. I don't want you to, to depend on Carlos to surf big waves. So you're going to, you're going to ride the ski. You're going to rescue me. You're going to you drive the car. You're going to back up on the ramp and put the ski in the water. You're going to flush the ski. You're going to do everything. And she was doing everything. So she had all the procedure on her mind and she was following the, the procedure. She was following the protocol. She was delivering her missions all the time. And, and I really liked that. And I remember one time when we were uh, together after Garrett got that big wave at Nazare and, 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 and he broke the record, and we looked after each other, each other and she said to me, hey, Carlos, what do you think about Nazare? You know, I want to go there. On, I want to break the world record. And I said, Maya, first of all, there isn't any world record for women. You know, uh, we got to change people's mind. So everything that we did to, together was a long way. You know, it wasn't easy at all. We, we had a lot of uh, uh, bad mouth, uh, you know, from, from people from our community all over the place. And the pinnacle of everything was what happened at 2013. You know, that rescue that wasn't, you know, uh, the perfect rescue, but at the end, work it out. <laughs> And we, again, we put our lives on, on the line, but we were used to it and we're still doing it. 
Uh, she was training hard, you know, she wanted to be there. You know, she said to me, hey, Carlos, uh, if I am there for this well, are you going to help me? I said, Maya, you know me. I'm going to help you anytime, you know. But please make sure you go and surf, you know, because every time I put my time to help you, I'm not surfing. And I'm not there just to help you. I want to go surf because I'm a surfer. I love big wave surfing. And there was something that we had to work a lot on our relationship because I was feeling that I was getting my performance downgraded because I wasn't surfing with the best partner of the time because she wasn't, you know, the best driver or the best rescue. But I knew, on the other hand, that we were breaking a lot of prejudice. We were pushing the bondires for the, the big wave surfing for girls. And we were opening a lot of doors. So that was something that was giving me a lot of energy, motivation. And after the rescue... Well, you know what's funny, you know what's funny about that, Carlos, is now that she, she's recognized as one of the best jet ski drivers in at Nazare, you know what I mean? So... So it's, you know, it's like anything, you just, uh, you know, she, the, the, the practice and the work that you put in and, and that she's done with other people as well around the world is now she's, she's, got, a, she's got an all-round game where if you were to go out with Maya, you would, she would get you amazing waves out at Nazare. She knows how to drive the ski, she knows how to rescue and, and all that stuff and that just goes to show the determination, the will, and just the love that she has for what she does, you know, and you've got to respect that. It's